welcome to my channel tally learning world in today's video we'll show you how do we export the tds returns for form 27q so let us go to the report that is form 27q so as you can see the report has been not yet exported so we'll just press alt e to export this returns as you can see the option e return it's been not highlighted to get this option to be highlighted ensure that you have to save this return to save this return we'll press alt b to save the return once you click on alt b you will get a pop up message do you want to save the return let's press s and again you will be back to the previous page so again we have to open the form 27q which we have saved once after you save you can see in alt e e returns option is highlighted so we'll just press enter and this format which will be fixed format for sdf format you don't have a uh, permission to change this format to any other formats so let us export this gst returns data and as you can see the file name output it's by default it's taking as tally text so you can just change if you need it as i'm trying to export this return and i have not filed the previous returns so i'll just keep this option to no if you have already filed the previous returns then you need to enter the receipt number or token number by pressing s so after you exported this return then we need to download the file validation utility tool from nsdl portal before submitting this data to nsdl department so let's press e to send as you can see the new file it's been got exported but tally text and we'll try to open this in a notepad and you can just see the report it's been displayed for more videos subscribe to my channel tally learning world and press the bell icon for new videos